so as from our discussions we know there are four types of driver classes right so coming to this four uh, drivers all these driver classes actually they implemented from one common interface driver interface all these classes they implemented from driver interface so this driver interface given by whom this driver interface class given by sun sun given this driver class as a part of jdbc api as a part of jdbc api this driver interface class we have from sun and then the implementations of this driver coming to type 1 driver type 1 driver type 1 driver implementations also given by sun people only the class name is what jdbc odbc driver class this class is implementation of this driver interface for this driver interface the type 1 implementation given by sun only so this one also given by sun only and coming to the remaining drivers type 2 driver or type 3 driver or type 4 drivers are vendor given implementations means the classes not developed by sun the classes implemented by some other vendors by using which interface they implemented by using this driver interface interface given by sun but implementations made for this interface by the third parties and vendors so how they given implementations so if you see arkil 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 people given one implementation for this driver so the driver implementation of arkil class is oracle driver the class name is arkil driver arkil people given implementation for this driver class and mysql vendor given one implementation this implementation given by arkil people and we have an implementation from mysql mysql implementation class name is what it's a driver mysql implementation class name also driver these all are what these all are fully implemented classes these all are fully implemented classes for this driver interface mysql vendors they made one implementation class driver class in the same way the remaining vendors also given implementations only one implementation we have from sun and there are many implementations from many database vendors so interface given by sun and one implementation also given by sun and the remaining implementations are from third parties and different vendors so whenever you required a connection from this arkil or whenever you required a connection from mysql how to get connection from the classes using which type of coding we need to get that connection we have to write driver manager dot get connection the code what we should write first we need to load this driver classes class dot for name of we have to load driver either first driver or second driver you can load any driver here so if you want to load vendor specific driver the class name arkil driver if i try to load here arkil dot jdbc dot arkil driver so if i load this arkil driver implementations given by whom arkil people means this implementation classes are not available in sun jar files sun will provide some jar files along with your jdk installation they will provide us jre and jdk if you install jdk they will provide us jre and as well as what they will provide jdk also they will provide so in this jre they will make available some jar files rt dot jar file for runtime we have to use this rt dot jar file in this rt dot jar file they given this jdbc odbc driver class but what about these classes these classes are not there in this rt dot jar file so then what we should do whatever the class we have here this class contained jar files we need to add to our application so if you go through this arkil driver class then arkil driver class jar file we should add so the jar file is ojdbc 
14. OJDBC 14 jar given by whom are kill people only. Coming to MySQL, there is one jar file. MySQL connector jar file. MySQL connector jar file given by MySQL people. Okay. So, like this, this implementation classes they given under their specific jar implementations. So, these jar files we should add to our application wherever you are going to load this rkill.jdbc.rkill driver class this jar files we need to add to our application then only that class it will make available to your application then after once if you load this driver once if you load this driver after loading this driver if you call driver manager dot get connection driver manager dot get connection and here if you pass URL, your application URL, username, password. Then it will get a connection from your database. Using what you need to get connection, driver manager. How we need to change if I go through the different types of implementations, if it is a Sun implementation or Oracle implementation or MySQL implementation, whatever it is, the code will be same right so let's say if you are a jdbc application user my application is simple student registration system or student management system my application name is simple student management system student management system and this application developed by durga soft developed by and it is useful for durga soft people so this application made for durga soft people so if durga soft if Durga soft people, if they want to store their data into MySQL, it is a open source, right? So if they want to store data into MySQL, what they need to do? MySQL driver class, they need to load here. Then by using driver manager dot get connection, they need to pass MySQL URL username passwords here. So then it will get a connection from MySQL database. Let's say if I pass MySQL driver here, com dot MySQL dot jdbc dot driver class the class name is driver so if i pass mysql driver class here mysql url username password it will get a connection from mysql database it will get a connection from mysql database why because we are loading mysql driver here in case if this durga soft people if they want to get connection from in future if they don't want this mysql if they want to cancel contract with this mysql and if they want to go through Arkill. If they want to buy Arkill, using Arkill if they want to store their data, if they feel it is safe. So then, they no need to make changes on their code, right? I mean, here it will get, it will give us connection. This connection is what? Is it an interface or implementation class? Connection is an interface. Connection is an interface. So by using this connection, what I can do? I can create a statement. Okay, I can create prepared statements. I can create some callable statements. Create calls. Okay, so any type of statement I can execute here by using this connection. Is this code how I need to change when I go through this Arkill database? Once from MySQL to Oracle, if I move, have I need to make any changes here in this code? Is this method names have I need to change? Is it different for every database? No, it is same for all the databases. If implementations given by Sun, this implementation is given by Sun, driver manager class and this connection interface and the remaining methods. By using this connection interface, some methods we have here. These methods, structures given by Sun, but not implementations. Only interfaces given by Sun, but implementations given by whom? Vendors. vendors given implementations. So, if vendor given implementations you are using here, what happens? MySQL, if they use naming conventions, my connection, my prepared statement, my callable statements. If Arkill people, if they use Arkill connection, Arkill prepared statement, Arkill statement. So, then I need to make changes here, right, in the code. But Sun thought what? If they provide, I mean, if people, if they use this vendor given specific implementations here, then 
this Durga soft to people, they need to bind with that particular database. In future, if they want to move from one database to another database, their code will become database tightly coupled. So instead of making your code database dependent, they made it independent. How they made it independent? In case if you change, if you want to change your database, just you need to make changes on this driver, URL, username and password. The remaining statement you can maintain as it is. How it is possible? Driver manager class given by <coughs> Sun only and connection interface also given by Sun only. So actually this driver manager class returning as what? A connection object a connection object reference it is returning to us into a connection interface so now this interface contains interface reference or object reference it will contain implementation object reference right interface this connection interface internally it will contains what a implementation class reference so implementation class reference who will provide to this interface driver manager class driver manager class by using this driver it will understand which connection object need to create if you load mysql driver here it will get connection mysql connection if you load here rkill driver it will get connection rkill connection but finally it is returning us in the form of interface you can load any driver finally it will deliver us what a interface reference as per java polymorphism inheritance let's say if you have one interface for this interface if you have implementations class 1 class 2 class 3 you can have any number of implementations now you can do this job right i i equal to new c1 i i equal to new c2 i i equal to new c3 is it possible or not it is possible right so in the same way connection interface given by Sun and the implementations like C1, C2, C3 given by different vendors. But who is creating that connection object? We are not creating by using a new keyword here. Then who is creating here? The object created by this driver manager dot get connection method. This driver manager dot get connection method is a method of driver manager class and it is a static method. This static method internally doing what? It is creating a implementation class object. Finally, it is returning that object in the form of interface reference so you can call this type of class as a factory classes okay factory class you can call this class as a factory class factory class doing what internally creating object but that code it is not showing here right so to hide the internal object creation implementation they have I mean one factory class here this factory class doing what <coughs> internally creating a object but we don't know which object it is creating right finally it is giving in the form of interface reference to make their customers independent so if you are a sun customer or if you are a sun user so sun given implementation if you are going to use here then sun made us what independent on what they made us independent on databases using what they made us independent by using a factory design pattern okay it's a simple design pattern okay so as per the design pattern first sun need to provide <coughs> interface and they need to provide one factory class getting they need to provide interface and they need to provide a factory class this factory class should capable to create any implementation of connection interfaces let's say if sun given this driver manager driver class in the year let's say if it is in 1998 this sun driver manager i mean jdbc odbc driver if they given in in the year 2000 let's say far kill driver if it is in 1999 if this implementation is from 2001 in case one more new database if they release in featured so now we have many databases like mongodb these are new databases mongodb it is no sql database means internally it will use different kind of data structures. It will not use your C, C++ data structures and it is not SQL. Okay, if you want to connect with MongoDB, this MongoDB vendor is a new vendor. They given implementations in the year like 2006, around 2007, they given implementations. Even if they given implementations in the year 2006 also, this driver manager is capable to create 
that MongoDB driver object here. It will load MongoDB driver and it can bring us a connection from MongoDB. So here, how they created this code in the year 1998 itself, if the implementations are from 2006, getting here. So if you create a factory class, this factory class should capable to what? It should be capable to create implementations of your connections if they provide implementations by using driver interface. So internally what it will check? Is this vendor given implementations for this driver or not? He will check. If they provide implementations by using these drivers, then it will create connections from that database. So the main aim of this driver manager factory class is what? It will make these people independent. Whoever using your JDBC API, that people will become independent of database. The main aim of driver manager is it will make us database independent. Always it will return object in the form of this connection interface only. Just try to get in the form of like Oracle connection or MySQL connection, it will throw exceptions. You need to get always data in the form of this connection interface. Once after getting this connection interface, you can execute any type of statements here. Okay. Finally, this driver manager class is a what? It's a factory class. It's a factory class. It's a factory class. This factory class internally creating objects of connection implementations. Connection implementations objects it is creating by using this driver manager. Sorry, by using this driver class. This driver class will help to this driver manager class to get a connection of that particular database implementations. Okay. And one more aim of this driver manager, make clients independent, hide the internal object creation logic also. So this driver manager class, if I write 10 times the same code here, if I write 10 times the same code here, get connection, get connection, get connection. How many connections it will provide to us? <coughs> okay. Do you know log for J? Okay. Leave it. So here this driver manager class get connection. If I call 10 times here, it will bring 10 connections from database. Means internally it is creating every time one connection object. On every get connection call, it will create one new connection object. Okay. So then you can call this driver manager factory class as a prototype factory. Prototype means for every call, it will create one one new object. If you keep this code in a for loop, if you keep this code in for loop and if you iterate it for 10 times, it will bring us 10 connections from database. Okay. <clears throat> Some people they used to thought this driver manager dot get connection will provide us only one connection. You know singleton pattern, right? As per singleton pattern, if you try to call for the object any number of times also it will provide us only one object. But here this driver manager class will not provide us only one single object. For every call it will provide us one one new object. Okay, so it is a prototype factory class. For every call, it will provide us one one new connection object. Means here, if I call again driver manager, once again, if I call this driver manager, driver manager dot get connection, and if I pass same URL, username, password, it will produce us one more new connection object. Connection one, connection two, connection three. For every call, it will create one one new connection. It will get connection from database. Okay. <clears throat> so once after getting this connection, you need to return that same connections to again database. Once if we get connection from database, database will release one socket here. For through that socket, it will provide us one connection. Until unless closing this connection, that sockets still it will in the I mean it it will keep it in the open mode. So must you need to close the connections in case if you want to close that sockets or else what happens your database after completion of all the connections from the database it will throw listener refusing connections exceptions means what you should do here you need to close the connection you need to close the connection before going to stop your application <coughs> 